Vladimir Putin doing a suplex on a truck. Putin smiling while riding a chocobo. Vladimir Putin splitting goblins in half with back kicks alongside his chocobo. Is there anything else that needs to be said? The Ride On King is probably the best find I have made in years. It's the story of Putin and his addiction for taming and riding stuff. He tamed horses, bikes, tanks, sharks, and finally his own country. He already tamed and rode everything there is to ride out there. But when boredom finally caught up with him, Putin gets free Freaking easy guide! What the hell is this? A new world filled with rideable things opens up to him. Dragons, dinos, orcs, and many other creatures. We're gonna follow the journey of Putin going through this fantasy land. Making new friends, making new enemies, getting involved into conflicts, and just going on cool adventures. I thought this was just a troll manga at first. Nah, probably just a few chapters of a dumb concept trying to surf on memes, but this shit ain't going anywhere. Well, it got 32 fat chapters now and it's safe to say it's legitimately good isekai. There's an actual plot going on, characters have backstories. And have I mentioned how good the art looks? It's so detailed, look at this damn chainmail! Everything is super pleasant to look at, people, creatures, background. It's all gorgeous. Also, not necessarily a good thing, but this manga can be surprisingly gory at times. It mostly has a chill vibe, but you can see some really shocking stuff once in a while. The fight scenes are also epic as hell. I mean, kicking the ground so hard it creates an earth shield? Pretty epic, if you ask me. I also like the fact that Putin says he doesn't want to kill people in this world because he already killed too many in his own world. So yes, Raidon King is also a redemption story. That's amazing! But what I mean to say is that this manga is more than a joke. You can feel legit love and care put into this. It might not shake the isekai genre and you still got 99% of garbage fantasy tropes, but with Putin there, it kind of changes everything. We've seen magician lollies, we've seen giant talking wolves, we've seen creepy orcs, but when it's Putin talking to them, it adds this odd contrast that makes everything suddenly feel ridiculous. And in a good way, because even if we got shit reheated in the microwave, if we explore it with a different vibe, it kind of gives it a fresh and pleasant taste. And for anyone who says, uh, this is not Putin, his name is Alexander Burchinov and he doesn't even come from Russia, shut the hell up. They only remove the blue color from the Russian flag. Riding stuff bare chest is clearly a Putin reference. And god damn it, even Natalia is here. You know the famous attorney general that turned into a meme just for being cute? They didn't even bother censoring her name. This is not a Putin inspired character. It's my boy Vladimir himself. And it's hilarious. I went deep into the abyss of the internet to find this gem and I regret nothing. I've seen some stuff though. Never search for top weird manga on Google. Things will not be the same afterward. Oh please not the goat again. If you want me to share my internet traumas with you all, tell me in the comments and I might make a video about it next week. Also, I'm live on Twitch right now, so come and tell me about the weirdest manga you've ever read. You have a wonderful day now and I'll see you lovely weebs next week.